Now to the major verdict against Starbucks, ordered to pay more than $25 million to a former employee who says she was fired because she's white. Eva Pilgrim is here with the story. Good morning, Eva. Good morning, Michael. Her lawyers say Starbucks made her, a white manager, the scapegoat in an attempt to save face when it found itself in the midst of major backlash after two black men were arrested in the Philadelphia store. The company firing her, a jury now finding in her favor. This morning, a $25.6 million victory for a white former Starbucks employee who accused the coffee giant of racial discrimination. A New Jersey jury unanimously siding with the former regional manager, Shannon Phillips, claiming her race was a determinative factor in Starbucks' decision to fire her in the wake of a 2018 racial firestorm. <laughs> Phillips wasn't present the day this viral video was recorded showing the arrest of two black men, Dante Robinson and Rashawn Nelson, who were waiting for a business meeting when an employee called 911 accusing them of trespassing. I have two gentlemen at my cafe that are refusing to make a purchase or leave. Their arrest sparking protests nationwide. What do we want? Justice! What do we want? Now! prompting Starbucks to close its stores for a day for racial bias training and reaching a confidential financial settlement with the two men. Phillips says she was not involved in the arrest in any way. According to her civil complaint filed in 2019, she claims she actively worked on crisis management efforts, but less than a month after the arrest, Phillips was notified of her termination. According to court documents, Starbucks claimed Phillips appeared overwhelmed, frozen, and lacked awareness of how critical the situation was for Starbucks and its partners, and that all actions taken by Starbucks with respect to Ms. Phillips were for legitimate, non-discriminatory, non-retaliatory reasons. Starbucks wasn't necessarily under legal pressure, but they were under public pressure to act and to show that they were open to everyone of every race and origin and to show that they were not going to allow racism to foster within their organization. A black district manager testifying via Zoom that he thought Phillips's race played into Starbucks' decision to fire her and that his race was a reason he was not terminated. Other companies are definitely going to have to be much more thoughtful and clear about why they're exercising terminations when they're faced with this type of situation. Now, we did reach out to Starbucks. We were told they have no comment at this time. Guys. Okay, thanks very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.